Hey, what's up, Ryan Smith? It's Mark Jennison. How are you, bro? I'm doing great, man. Enjoying an off day at the house painting and cutting grass. Right on, man. It's about time you do some real work, huh? Yeah, I've changed clothes three times a day. That's how filthy I've gotten. <laughs> it's good for the soul, brother. Hey, I want to thank you for jumping on here and doing a testimonial with me, man. I'm going to run through a couple questions, and I'll let you get back to doing the honeydew list. But what would you say your biggest problem was, whether it be mindset? Or, I don't want to call it out for you, but what was your biggest problem before you got hooked up with us in the Reloader program? Well, I'm just going to paraphrase what my manager said the other day when he pulled me aside. And he said the biggest thing that he's noticed with me in the last four months is my consistency has gone to the next level. You know, I've always been a guy that would, you know, I mean, I've, I've sold 15, 20 a month, and then I'd struggle to sell three or four of the next. But since I joined your group, you know, the consistency has been the same every month. My, my gross has gone up. My units have gone up. I think I'm sitting – Right now, probably second in the store in front and gross out of 21 people through 12 days, you know, and I've, that's, that's been a big, a big advantage. So what do you think the single biggest result you've got so far from the Reloader program is? A mindset change, and the mindset change has changed everything. I mean, every aspect of my business and career has, has, has multiplied. I mean, I, I can't say enough for – what it's done for me and my attitude at work. Okay. What do you think is your favorite part about the 30 and 30 reload program or working with me or working and being involved in this community with these guys? What's your favorite part of it? I like the accountability of it. You know, I posted in the, the message uh, group the other night, you know, just the camaraderie, you know, the opportunity to she to see and share and other guys success, you know, around the world. You know, I've developed very close friendships with, with men that I've never even met, you know, and I, I know something that you and I have talked about in private here, you know, recently about pride and ego and, you know, and things of that, you know, and pride and ego is something that, that really resonates and hits home with me uh, because it was a major issue with me and caused a lot of problems at work and outside of work. You know, and to be able to bond with other men and kind of tear those walls of, of ego and pride down and let other people see your vulnerability and weaknesses, you, you know, it, that, that to me here, the last, the last two or three weeks, that's something that's really resonated well with me. Good. So we're making some changes all around in life, huh? Yeah, absolutely. You know, you and I have spoke extensively on, you know, just how yeah. my mindset yeah. and attitude have changed, but it's, it's been a complete overhaul. Well, okay, and I don't want to keep it. I know you got to get back to what you're doing, but would you recommend this to other people? I mean, you want to grow the community as much as I do. So well, for those guys out there on the fence, what do you recommend for them to do to get on with us? I mean, I would just encourage you just to take the, take the leap. You know, I mean, if anybody sits down, and I'll give you an example. My wife and I sat down the other day and added up every gas station expense in our check register. And we spent $538 at gas stations last month, you know, so to say you can't afford 97 bucks a month, you know, we're going to go back to that old close of a pencil and scratch paper of, you know, get rid of this, get rid of that, you know, do this. I mean, quit buying a Red Bull every day. <laughs> you know, my, my, my wife was spending $138 a month on Red Bull. Come on. You know, so, so there's something that can be alleviated to find $97 and that's a minimal investment, you know, to, to get on board, you know, to life change and career change. Awesome, man. So I want to ask you one more question though, because for you and I, like I said, I know this, I'm kind of leading this in here. What is the benefit it's doing for your life and for everybody else? I want to really touch base on that one more time because for you, I feel like we made change. We made a friendship. What, what, what has it done for you personally as a man? Well, the, the daily accountability, you know, when, when, when you know other men are out there performing at a high level, you know, and that, you know, we're all competitive by nature, you know, right. men and women alike, you know, men, maybe a little bit more than women, you know, but you, you've got that competitive drive in you, you know, to want to succeed, you know, and it's kind of like my, a friend of mine who's a youth pastor always tells me everybody needs a Paul and everybody needs a Timothy in their life. You've got to have somebody you're mentoring and you've got to have somebody mentoring you, you know? And so when you're a part of a mastermind group like this, it just brings a level of accountability to the surface, 
you know, and it basically forces you to make a decision. Either, either I'm part of this moving forward or I'm standing still. And eventually if you're standing still, you're just, you know, you're going to be washed away and, you know, your goals, your, your dreams and the things that you set out to accomplish are, are not going to be fulfilled. With you hundred percent. Thank you very much, Ryan. Go have fun taking care of the wife today. All right, brother. All right, man. Thanks. Take care. Have a great day. Be good, buddy. Uh, but thanks.